I've taken possession from eBay another mini disc, mini, mini disc player. Thought I'd unwrap it on camera. Now this one was a, from a charity um, eBay, eBay from a charity shop, and they had three of these. I've already got one of these, which is one of my favourite players, which is the uh, Net MD Walkman MZ dash N70 N710, and this one was listed for initially for five pounds plus four pounds ninety five postage, but as untested. They had two silver ones and one blue one, all as untested because they didn't have a power supply for them. So a few little marks on this one, they might come off, yeah, that'll polish off. Again, I love these players, They're probably my favourite type of player. So it's cracked, so I think it's got a, uh, I think it's been dropped at some point. But otherwise it looks okay. Feels quite heavy actually. Oh, it's got a battery in it. So that's the original battery, battery that came with the unit. Now normally, something this old, sorry about that, you'd find that the battery contacts are corroded. So let's have a look at that. They don't look, they look okay. So that's a good sign. So I suppose the thing to do is if there's a disconnect first of all, that's a bit stiff. I think the thing to do is take out the battery that I know is working and charged. Pop it in there and see what happens. Now it's got no disc in it. Yeah, it's got a mark on there. So let's see what happens. Sorry about the lighting, I'm shooting this in the evening, there's no natural light. Well apparently that's working, so that's a really good deal. Um, can't remember how much I paid for that, might be a minute. Yeah, I paid £10.50 and £4.25 postage, so that's about uh, just over £15. So that's fantastic news, because I, I can now pop that on my charger and keep that charged. I can keep this one charged. I like having these on my desk because they just look nice. So I can keep this one charged with the battery in it and then just take the battery out and take that and it's, you know, it's slightly damaged, whereas my one's practically unmarked. But it's a nice, it's quite a lightweight one. The other one I take out with me sometimes or around the house is this one, which is similar size that way, but it's got a, a hump there for the AA battery on it. So it's a really good deal, I'm glad that's working. I haven't plugged in any headphones. If it's, uh, I'll do that in a minute, and if it's not working, I'll let you know. But if you don't see any more in this video, you can assume that it's all working. Hi, I picked uh, this up, you might have seen an earlier video, or I might add this to the end of that one. Um, picked this up off of eBay, it's coming to a little mark on there, it's a little bit dirty and there's a sticky label that's been used, looks like sellotape has been used on the back. And also this one which I keep on my desk did have a the label from Sony on there and it just fell off one day in really hot weather but it's left the sticky residue. So there's different ways of cleaning this off. Uh, the easiest way and the least harsh on the chemicals is to use Good old Mr. Sheen or any multi-surface cleaner and just spray a little bit of that on there. That's rather a lot, but never mind. And I like to use a microfiber cloth for these sort of things. Leave it on there for a few seconds to act. And it's just a little bit of residue on there again. You can use isopropyl alcohol for this, but I'm always a bit nervous on doing that because I don't know what effect it's going to have on the old plastic. So I'd rather not use that. There's no point in paying for this goo gone or this sticky stuff remover. Just a multi-surface cleaner will normally take off 
bits of sticky residue. And the thing to remember on this one is that that stick has been on there for about 20 years. So the surface of the plastic which was exposed will be worn to a different extent. To will be exposed to UV light and slightly different colour. I've turned on. That. <laughs> there you go. It's practically gone now. So we'll do the same on this one. You can see that there. Bit of Mr. Sheen. Not sponsored. Work it in gently with a cloth. Make sure there's nothing, no bits of grit or anything on the cloth as well. That's gone already. So notice there's a little bump in the sticker there. I'm running my thumb over it. There's actually a screw underneath that. So if I was taking this to pieces, I think there's a screw hole or maybe a moulding mark underneath that. So there's a couple of little bits here. You can just spray the spray directly onto the cloth as well. I think that was a bit of Mr. Sheen as well. Let's see if we can get this mark out and this little smudge here as well, just with a damp cloth. There we go, excellent. So not only does it make it nice and clean, it makes it smell nice too. And that is a really good buy, I think. The 15 pounds including postage you pay for that. Perfectly good apart from the little crack at the bottom there and I think what's happened there is it's had the the battery adapter for the AA adapter screws into that hole and I think it's just probably been bent a bit and it's cracked the plastic and made it slightly raised there. That's the only reason I think that is on there so very happy with that and there's how you clean off sticky residue from stickers. And I suppose that would be good for the uh, mini disc cases and the mini discs themselves to get rid of the stickers on there. Brilliant, thanks very much.